Hello, Internet! So nice to see you have a nice questions about jazz. I love jazz. I love listening to Charles Mingus, Bill Evans, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, Chick Corea, etc. But I feel like I have no right or authority to say I love jazz because I understand nothing about it. I just love how it sounds. Cool jazz, bebop, jazz fusion, free jazz, I love them all. But it feels like jazz is the most inaccessible music to which only the 1% of the human population have the right to have any opinion about it. The fact that I don't have a high IQ but for some reason really enjoy jazz feels very wrong. Dude. It doesn't matter what you think your IQ is, if it's high or low. If you like the sound, you get jazz. If you don't like the sound, you don't get jazz, and there's nothing wrong about that. And this is true for every other style of music. You like the sound of it, it gives you that kind of feeling, you get it. You don't, you don't, and there's no problem. Now, listen to me. First of all, there's a lot of people out there who think they have a high IQ or a low IQ based on internet IQ tests. Do not believe any internet IQ test. Doesn't matter who sent you the link, okay? That's the first thing. Second, it doesn't matter what your IQ is at all. There's plenty, listen to this sentence and take it literally, there's plenty of stupid people listening to jazz. There's plenty of stupid people listening to any kind of music. There's plenty of intelligent people listening to jazz and plenty of intelligent people listening to any kind of music just because there is a bunch of musicians or music critics that are able to say some intelligent sounding word after somebody has played and you don't understand what they say, it doesn't mean you don't get jazz. It just means that they are not able to communicate properly, okay? Because honestly, it's very immediate, okay? You like the sound or you don't like the sound. Dude, there have been jazz players who, don't, who do not know how to read, okay? There have been. You don't need to have any kind of IQ to understand jazz. Again, you like it, you don't like it. Now, if you come to me and tell me, Tamazio, I listen to, I try to listen to jazz and I don't get it, and we can sit down, we can talk about it, we can, I can show you what to listen to, or what not to listen to, we can try to start with some, from some easy stuff, okay, and then we can get you there if you want to. But again, this is true not only for jazz, but for any kind of music. There is really nothing special about jazz, okay, except that the people who are the critics of jazz tend to have this kind of flavor for polysyllabic words and uh, intelligent turn of phrases, okay? But really, the music is just the music, okay? So, first of all, don't think that you have the right or don't have the right to listen to something, okay? Then, of course, counterexample. Do you really think that all intelligent people listen to jazz? In a previous career, as you know, I was a scientist. I got to know a couple of Nobel Prizes. I'm not saying these to show off. It just happens. You are at a conference and there is a Nobel Prize and you exchange a few words with them and you get to know them, okay? And I got to ask to a few of them what kind of music they listen to. Not a single Nobel Prize I know listens to jazz. I'm sure there are Nobel Prizes who listen to jazz. Some of them listen to classical music, but at least one of them, a chemist, was listening to punk. Incidentally, what is with punk and chemist? You guys know that the, sing the singer of the band Offspring is a chemist? <laughs> he has a PhD in chemistry? It, it's not that since something sounds intelligent and intelligent people listen to it, okay? Intelligent people listen to anything they like, just like stupid people, okay? So, Forget about this high IQ, low IQ bullshit, because it's all that. Listen to what you like, learn to play what you like, and if you're even thinking, I'm not intelligent enough to understand jazz, let me tell you guys, every kind of music is easy once you understand what to do, and really, you don't have to have a PhD into anything to understand how to do it. Intelligent people listen to whatever they like. Exactly like stupid people, because it's not a matter of intelligence, it's a matter of what you like. And if you're thinking, I'm not intelligent enough to understand how to play jazz, let me tell you, you don't need a PhD in anything. You just need to understand what to do and play it, and ear as a big part in it, and theory is just there to help you, okay? And if you need some help in understanding what to do and how to play any kind of style, Send me an email, I have courses, I have free resources, I can totally direct you in the right uh, direction, okay? And help you play whatever you want, no problem. But 
let's put this IQ bullshit, okay, to rest. Intelligence and style of music have nothing to do with each other. And I know that in the comments somebody's gonna post those awful academic articles that show that there's a statistical correlation between intelligence and style of music. I've already received dozens of those. I've already poked all the holes that are into those articles. Those articles are bullshit. It's not true. Simple as that. Okay? This is Tomas Azzilio of MisericForGuitar.com and until next time, enjoy. Enjoy every music you like.